Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Thanks for joining me around this little fire. It's quite nippy tonight, so sitting out just for a, a bit of um, reflection on the week. And um, just thought I'd have a chat. <clears throat> um, one of my friends at work recently <laughs> asked me, you know, he watches some of my videos and he, he says to me, why, why, why do you do it? As in, you know, practice bushcraft. Um, stroke survival skills if you want to call it that <clears throat> techniques whatever and um, you know he says in this day and age we don't need to know how to light a fire by rubbing sticks together and <coughs> friction by fire and so why bother so <clears throat> my answer to that is really simple really it's <clears throat> excuse me twofold firstly I enjoy it I love I love doing it it's just a hobby um, for me it isn't that serious, it's just a hobby, I enjoy doing it. And yes, I'm 43 years of age now, and I've never had to light a fire by friction, had to light a fire by friction, in my entire life. So statistically I'll never need to. But for me it's like the old analogy of buying an expensive fast car, you know, one of these supercars that'll do 200 miles an hour. You know, 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to be stuck in a traffic jam doing 10 miles an hour. So, <clears throat> and most people probably never will drive that vehicle at 200 miles an hour. But isn't it nice to know that you can, if you want to? You know, again, it's like buying a diver's watch. You know, a nice, expensive, good quality watch. It tells the time like a cheap 99 pence Casio. And it's rated to 150 metres of depth maybe worn by somebody who can't even swim, let alone go dive into those depths. But again, it's, to, it's nice to know it can, or you can, if you want to, or need to. So, for me, it's, it's not important as in, I must learn this, I, must, I, I want to learn it, that's the difference. You know, in life, not everything that we do has to be done, you know, like a chore or a job. Some things we do because we enjoy doing it. You know, it gives us pleasure, it's a hobby. You know, whilst I'm at home <coughs> or walking about or in the woods practicing playing at bushcraft, then I'm not doing anybody any harm. I'm not getting into trouble. It's nice to get out and about. And it's nice to learn new things, especially some of the uh, more traditional skills. They're a dying skill, let's be honest, because of the modern environment that we're living. So it's nice to keep them them skill sets alive and just enjoy it for what it is you know don't make it too serious it's just a hobby um, and that's basically my my point of view on this whole bushcraft um, genre <clears throat> if ever you go camping it's always nice to know that you can light a fire easily um, because you know the basic fundaments of a good fire set a good fire lay you know the air the fuel and the source of ignition, uh, the, the triangle of fire, but you know it's not that important really. It's a, again, it's a hobby for me, so I'm, I love doing it, I enjoy it. So that'd be my answer to you, mate. It's purely that, just a time, time passing hobby. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe out there, whatever you're doing. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. What's left of it? I mean, only get dark quick now. We've put the clocks back, <laughs> and uh, there's definitely an autumnal nip in the air now. So drive safely. Take extra t uh, extra time and care when you're on the roads, and I'll see you all on the next one. Mad dog signing off. Yeah.